And our next dish is the beef. So let's get the beef set up here. I call these dino bones. These are the miniature version for the cute little town of uh, Aspen. But in fact, they come bigger. I rub simple mixture of salt, pepper, sugar, and five spice powder. Let's see, we have star anise, we have cinnamon, we have fennel seed, we have pepper. There's a wide variety. On the inside of these ribs is a membrane called the pleura. In fact, these have been demembraned, but you want to remove it. And the way you remove it is just wedge a little butter knife under the bone, pry up, pull off the membrane. So the way a rub works, we simply rub the seasoning mix on the meat, sprinkle it on first, rub it in. That's why it's called a rub. You can cook the uh, ribs right away, but if you let them marinate for three or four hours, the rub will actually cure the mixture. Normally, we'd be in an indirect grilling situation uh, outdoors, and we would use soaked oak or hickory chips uh, soaked in either water or beer or wine. Do not soak in a... Uh, in a full alcoholic spirit like rum or brandy, or else you will uh, actually cause the chunks to burn rapidly rather than smolder. Using cherry sawdust, we put about a tablespoon and a half carefully measured in the bottom. OK, step number one. Step number two, drip pan goes on top. Step number three, wire rack goes on top of that. Ribs, always concave side up. We have a little principle at Barbecue University, fat side up, so the fat melts. And as the fat melts, it moisturizes the meat. These ribs will take about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. So we'll get smoke on them for 20 minutes. And then to be honest with you, if you want to work with this and get the best results, take the lid off, throw them in the oven for the other 20 minutes so you get a sort of moist, smoky heat to put smoke flavor in, and then a dry heat to melt out the fat and crisp the bones. The sauce goes on at the absolute end, or actually even served on the side. So on the ribs, I want to show you kind of an important principle with the ribs. And that is, you see how the uh, meat has shrunk back from the end of the bones about a quarter of an inch? That's how you know when a rib is cooked. Okay, another way is you can tear the ribs apart with your fingers. Okay, a rib should not be fall off the bone tender. If a rib is fall off the bone tender, chances are it has been boiled. And that is heresy in my barbecue religion. So concerning the sauce, if you feel impelled to put a sauce on, what I would do is the very last minute, I'd brush the sauce on, then just move the ribs over the direct part of the grill to sizzle the sauce in. So sauce on the side, a little finely chopped scallion green. Uh, so dinosaur bones with Shanghai barbecue sauce. Thank you.